How is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech, so let's say you forgot your Mac password. So your Mac is probably like mine in the lock screen, also known as the login screen, but you can't get in. You can't use your Mac because you forgot your Mac password. Don't worry because I got you covered. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve that problem and it just takes a couple minutes. So I'm going to show you how to reset your forgotten Mac password and create a new one. It's super easy. Oh, and the thing I like the most about this process, it's no data loss. That's right, we're gonna reset your Mac password and you're not gonna lose anything. After we're done, it's like nothing ever happened. No data loss, you're not gonna lose anything. Please keep in mind that this method is updated to 2023 in macOS Ventura, but if your Mac is outdated, no problem because this method is compatible with old versions of macOS as well. So if you're running macOS Mojave, High Sierra, and even older, it will also work. So this means that this method is universal and it works with Intel-based Macs and also Apple Silicon Macs like M1, M2s, and so on. But before we begin, one very important and final disclaimer. This tutorial comes straight from Apple. This is how Apple recommends that we deal with this situation of a forgotten Mac password. So all of the steps, absolutely everything comes straight from Apple support. So this means that this method will only work if the Mac is yours. If you own the Mac and you have forgotten your own Mac password. If you're trying to do this on anybody else's Mac, trust me, it will not work. The method will not work. Now, the process itself is extremely easy, and if we're here in the lock screen or login screen, all you have to do is actually look for this question mark. As you can see, right next to the enter password, we have a question mark. And simply by clicking on it, you'll see this pop-up, which will show you your password hint, and sometimes just by looking at the hint, you can already figure out your forgotten Mac password, so then problem solved, but of course, sometimes you can't remember even with the hint or you don't have a hint at all, which no problem, because right here we have, if you forgot your password, you can reset it using your Apple ID. That's right, we're gonna reset it with the Apple ID. If for some reason you don't see the question mark, there's no question mark on your Mac, you can try a secondary method, which is typing a wrong password three times. So you can go for like one, two, three, and then enter, and then it's gonna be wrong, right? Because you don't remember the correct one. And then once again, and then wait for it once again, and then it will give you the exact same pop-up as you can see right there. So after three failed attempts, it will show you the pop-up. And if for some reason, even after the three attempts, you don't see this, and if you don't have the question mark, you have a third option to get to this pop-up, which is the important thing to do. And what you have to do is just restart your Mac. So right here, you can restart, and then after a restart, you'll probably see the question mark, or if you don't see it, you can try once again the three wrong random password uh, attempts, okay? So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you get this option right there, okay? Now, now that we know that we need this, and now that we know how to get it, the pop-up, all you have to do is click on this option, reset it using your Apple ID, as easy as that. So click on it, and then, as you can see, you'll already see your Apple ID and your password right here. Please keep in mind that it's important that you are connected to the Wi-Fi because that's the only way your Mac can actually authenticate your Apple ID and password, so you need to be close and connected to Wi-Fi. That's important, okay? And then, after you're done typing your Apple ID and password, you can just go ahead and reset password. So click there, wait a second, and that's why I said it's important to have internet connection, right? And right here you can click on OK, and then it's gonna restart. So your Mac is automatically going to restart, and then you're gonna be able to create your new Mac password. Let's wait. And then the Mac will automatically turn on with the reset password screen. So all you have to do now is tap here on deactivate Mac. And as I mentioned, you need to be connected to Wi-Fi to do this, okay? So deactivate Mac, you can click here, and then deactivate, as you can see right there. So then, wait a second. As you can see here, it's gonna ask once again for the Apple ID information, so just type it in. And then after you type in your Apple ID email, you go ahead and click on next, 
And then of course you're gonna type in your password. So go ahead and do it. And then for the final time, we go ahead and click on next once again. Let it do its thing, let it load. And then finally we can create the new password for our Mac. So we can create a new password, verify it. So we're gonna repeat it. And then you can type in a password hint, which is always handy as well, because if you forget it in the future, the hint can help you out. And so as you can see, new password, repeated it, I put the hint, so now I can go ahead and click on next. It's gonna verify if everything is all right. And in just a few seconds, let it do its thing. And then as you can see, your user account password has been reset. You may restart and log in using your new password. So then let's click on restart. Your Mac will restart normally, turn off and turn back on. And then we're gonna already use our new password and everything will be back to normal, no data loss as I mentioned. And so as you can see, the Mac has just restarted. I'm gonna type in my new password, then I'm gonna hit return. And then as you can see, my Mac is already turning on, booting up and everything is back to normal. As you can see, my reminders are here. I have all my folder with all my hundreds of files that I have here in my desktop. So everything is here back to normal as if nothing ever happened. If for some reason the method didn't work for you in any of those steps, I do recommend that you take a look at a link in the description that I'm going to leave right here straight to Apple support. And you can see there are some exceptions and error messages. So you can take a look if for some reason you were that 1% that it didn't work. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye bye guys.